Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more The Walking Dead. Um, <clears throat> I have to say to you guys, man, um, all you guys that are being, you know, loyal, if you have subscribed to the channel and stuff like that, that I really do appreciate you guys coming over because um, pretty much not the TV series on my channel, they don't do very well. You know, and I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to hide this from you guys. A lot of people say I have great content and stuff like that. And I try to optimize my videos as much as possible so that, you know, YouTube would promote them. But in turn, if people are not watching the videos, then, you know, like, you know, interaction and stuff like that, like, People will watch my videos, but they won't leave any comment. And all that people don't understand that that stuff, it counts. It's not, it might not be a major thing, but YouTube do take it in consideration. They have two major things that they watch for, and that is watch time and click through rate. Um, so those two things are the main things that they look for, but they also look for interaction also. So as you guys interact with the videos, you know they'll pop up in so many so you know people that are looking for the walking dead reactions okay so now that i've gotten that out of the way okay so last um the last episode that we watched season three episode four we um we lost Lori. it wasn't the best time it was one of the more tough episodes i never thought i would almost cry during the walking dead episode because i'm usually not you know, if you guys have been watching me since the beginning of this series, you know that I'm really squeamish. So, you know that I'm really squeamish. But, I don't get emotional very often when it comes on to um, this type of shows. Whether it be movies or show <coughs> zombies, zombie movies, zombie TV shows. <coughs> this, this genre of film or you know just series like i don't get emotional over losing characters because i know it's going to happen but the reason why this hit me so hard is because it was a little unexpected and they wrote it in such a way where from the beginning of the season you cared so much about Lori. I cared a lot about her because I really wanted her and Rick to be reconciled. And basically, they wrote it so that not only did they not reconcile, but he wasn't even there to see her die. And I, I, that's one of the worst things that, that can happen to you is you go, you have an argument with someone and they die before you can apologize. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ask anybody who has experienced this in their life. It's one of the worst feelings in the world because you feel like that person is gone now and you feel like it's your fault, you know? And <clears throat> I know that's what how Rick is going to feel after this. And the fact that they let Carl take her out, like put the bullet in her head so she doesn't turn, that's another tough thing to, tough thing to watch too. I really almost teared up. I mean, my eyes were, you know what I'm saying? I teared up, but there was no tears falling down. Um, there was no tears falling down. I did wipe my eyes because, I, I you know, um, it, it got to me. And then they killed T-Dog, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You know, and that bum, that short dude, man, that prisoner dude that came back that caused everything to happen. Man, F that dude, bro. Like, he... he he deserved to, 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 to die the way he did. I'm glad that some that the dude took him out. Um hopefully they um hopefully they treat him a lot better now. Him and the other dude that you know he said he's handy with bikes and stuff. I don't remember their names, but hopefully they get a little bit better treatment among the group now, now that they've, you know, kind of proven themselves that they're with it. You know what I'm saying? I know, you know, I was still on the fence about him. But it's time to let it go. I think they're harmless. Um, well, nobody's really harmless, you know, altogether. But, you know, 
it is what it is right now. Like, I think they should, you know, let them into the group and let them integrate a little bit, you know, get to know everybody so they can become a trusted. So they got rid of, it's like, it's like they can't have two black, two black guys at the same time on the show. It's like, okay, let's kill the one black guy and then bring on the other one. <laughs> it's so weird when shows do this and then people talk about it all the time and said it's institutional racism. I don't think it is. I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what to think of it, but it's like, it's a weird trope that happens in TV shows and movies. Like you don't get to see a lot of black people on screen at the same time. It's a weird thing. And that's what I'm saying. Like you will see it happen, but they probably won't last the whole show or the whole episode. Like, but I'm just saying like in some shows you do see that and you want to, if you want to be picky, you can go there, but I'm not going to go there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go there, even though I kind of went there, <laughs> you know, but it's just kind of funny to me when I see it, you know, it's just like, okay, we got, we, we killed the short one, right? The one that caused all the trouble. And then we got the, the tall one now that, you know, that killed the short one. And then we got rid of T-Dog that's been with us since season one. So it's just weird. It's just a weird thing that I saw. Now I was laughing to myself when I realized that. But I, I just felt like I should share that joke with y'all. But anyways, man, we're going to jump into this and see what's going on. Um, but I do want to say this. If you watch the intro, there is going to be a link down in the description if you guys want to donate to the channel, um, to the, you know, to the continuation of the channel and, you know, for things to come in the future or whatever, all this money is going to, is going to, um, be invested back into the channel so i'm just letting you guys know about it because so many people have asked me about can we donate man do you have a paypal do you have a patreon and stuff like that so if you guys want to donate to the channel i'm going to leave a link in the description it's going to be a paypal you guys can go there and donate you know whatever it is, i'm not asking for anything specific or anything like that but if you want to you want to support the channel there you go finally <laughs> okay so Gonna take a deep dive into this. Let's go watch episode five of season three, man. Let's go get it, The Walking Dead. Let's go. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to the review. Season three, episode five, The Walking Dead, man. Great episode. Great episode. Rick. Rick is not recovered. He has not recovered. <sighs> and I feel sorry for him because, you know, stuff like that can, it, it can put you, I, I, I definitely understand the situation that he's in. You know, a lot of people might say, oh, you should pay attention to the baby or whatever. But you got to also understand that he's grieving. He's grieving. Um, and as I said before, I know he's, he's thinking that is it's his fault why this happened. Because he did not reconcile with her, and now she's gone, and he really doesn't have that time. He can't get that time back, so he's regretting it. There's a lot of stuff going through his head right now. Um, I don't know who that phone call is at the end of the episode, but hopefully... I don't know who the hell that could be. I don't know, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know who the hell that could be, but over there, I'm glad. I'm so happy that Michonne left. You know why I'm happy? Why why she decided to leave? Because Andrea is a dumbass. That's why. She's always been a dumbass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not my favorite character in the show. You know what I'm saying? That's why her sh uh, um Shane and her were the same type. They kind of think the same way. Um Dale was always trying to to reach out to her, but she never really got it. She never really understood. So it was like she shot Daryl. It's just so many things that she did that just make her not one of my favorite characters in the show. She's so dumb in a sense of um, somebody that you've been with for this long and you still don't know them. And that that's the thing too. Like you don't know Michonne. You've been with her for what, eight months? And you still don't know who she is if, 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 you guys have been together that long. You should know that if she instinct instinctly do something, you should already be on board because you know what? I've been with her for eight months. Only knew these people for like five minutes. 
Why the hell would you take their word over hers? Makes no damn sense to me. That just goes to show you the type of person that she is and why she's such an annoying character in the show. And now she's like, oh, this is barbaric, blah, blah, blah. Now you're regretting staying. Right? Now you're regretting staying. You know, the governor, he's another issue. You know what I'm saying? He's another He's, he's sadistic. And, and, and you know, I don't want to say uh, um, he's, he's, I don't want to say he's psychotic. I don't want to go that far. I would say more narcissistic more than anything else that he is. He's the type of person that he preys. He preys on people like he might not be the most. He's the type of person that would say something to you and then tomorrow stab you in the back. That's the type of person he is. At least that's how he comes off to me. So it doesn't seem like the doctor or the scientist, whatever, the one that's doing the experiment, it doesn't seem like he's into any of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he's just there trying to still figure out what's going on. And I think he doesn't really agree with everything that's going on. Um, and he wants to figure out things as quick as possible so people can actually live and function the right way. So I think they are high. We, you know, we are seeing behind the scenes as the audience what's really going on behind the scenes. Michonne and Andrea didn't have any idea what's going on. Michonne got a glimpse, you know what I'm saying, of what's going on that's why she was like yo we got to get the hell out of here you know what i'm saying because people don't leave you know but they let her leave and i'm glad she left whatever i'm glad she left you because guess what i'm glad she didn't like oh okay i'm gonna stay i'm glad she didn't do that i'm glad she bounced and was like you know what you want to take your shot with these people you don't know go right ahead because i don't trust them and I'm 100% on board with what Michonne did. Um, love her for that. Okay. I I, I thought Merle was going to go look for Daryl. What happened with that situation? Like, that was just kind of thrown to the side, um, you know, by, you know, one little speech by the governor. You know, but I still want him to go look for Daryl. He wanted to leave, and he basically got talked out of it. So... Still want to see what that's going to happen. Um, you know, they went to get baby formula for the for the baby and stuff like that. They didn't even warm that shit up. They just gave it gave it to her cold, huh? Yeah, but I don't know what they're gonna call. Um, the thing that confused me the most, guys, and I want if you guys are watching this review, let me know where did I miss when Carol went down because it seems like the third grave is hers because I thought it was just T Dog and Lori right that they lost but apparently they lost somebody else and i and they're making it seem like it's carol because they make daryl put the flower on her grave um i'm pretty sure that's the only two people we lost but if 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 i missed it guys let me know if i did miss it or she's just missing and they just dug a grave for her anyways i don't know or they just decide to off screen her because I'm pretty sure she ran out when T T T Dog was holding those two walkers so she could get out. And after that, we never saw Carol again. So I don't know what happened. Did a scene happen that I completely missed here? Because <laughs> I'm confused. Anyways, let me know in the comment section if I missed it or not. I know you guys will do that for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, man, The Walking Dead, season three, episode five. Um, very good follow-up episode to the most, to, to the most, you know, <laughs> tearful one. <laughs> the last episode, losing Lori, man, was tragic. Losing, you know what I'm saying? Losing her was, I think, it was a good time. It was, it, it was a good writing. From a writing standpoint, it was very good. Very good. You know what I'm saying? Kind of reminds me. Um, the Walking Dead kind of reminds me of how Game of Thrones used to be when not, you know, main characters didn't have plot armor. You know, you could go at any minute. You know what I'm saying? But in, um, in this series, man, they're really taking that. Hopefully this doesn't change throughout the, the series. Of course, I'm hopeful that it doesn't. So thank you guys once again for listening, man. Leave a comment in the comment section. Leave a like, of course. And of course, keep supporting the videos. Share. Whatever you need to do to get some more people viewing these reaction videos. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you're new. 
It's Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.